Hi again YouTube, this is part 2 of the <coughs> restoration process for this Colt 1917 uh, revolver. In part 1 I showed you all the damage and pitting uh, that was on the parts. In this part I wanted to show you what I've done so far to uh, kind of clean up some of the spitting. Um, I was worried that if I remove too much metal I'm actually going to cause uh, some kind of uh, well essentially I'm going to turn the, the uh, revolver unsafe I thought so um, like as you can see in the case of the cylinder you can still see some pitting but you don't see big patches of it anymore okay and then as a frame uh, or as far as the frame goes you can see what I've done to to the side plate again see some scattered pitting I just didn't want to take it too far because I didn't want to remove the logo uh, the inspection mark um, you remember there there was a lot of uh, pitting on the on the barrel you see some smudges on it right now but in any case I was able to keep all of the uh, lettering intact hope you can see that oh, almost lost the cylinder okay you see the lettering okay and uh, as you can see took care of the pitting for the most part let me just take the cylinder out real quick just so it doesn't get in the way okay all right so once again you can see uh, what I've done just to get rid of pitting and I hope you can see that okay and like I said I just don't want to take too much off I think it'll look better once I blew it but we'll find out and uh, for the most part this is it. I tried to follow the uh, original directionality of the sending marks or machining marks so I kind of tried to mimic it uh, as much as I could and I didn't do anything to the grip area simply because I didn't want to thin it uh, anymore so I didn't do anything. It's going to be all covered by the grips anyway, so it should be okay. Um, another big item was uh, was the hammer, and you can kind of tell. Um, I only took care of basically from here up. Didn't touch any of this area. Okay didn't do anything to the to the back there's still some pitting there but I'm not worried about it here's the other side same thing uh, there was a lot of pitting here on this side there was a lot of pitting here and up here as well as here um, if you if you want to know or if you want to if you saw my other video my part one video you uh, you know how much pitting was on the hammer so and I couldn't uh, take out the firing pin this rivet or this pin I couldn't knock out basically so I decided to leave it in I'm just gonna oil it really well after I blew um, the top of the hammer I'm gonna try to reproduce the original bluing okay so that's the hammer uh, trigger didn't have a whole lot of pitting on it but I touched it up just a little bit on the sides okay just a little bit 
and some of the pitting, like I said, it, I mean, it, I think it just adds to the look of the old revolver, so I don't think I need to take care of absolutely everything anyway. Main, main idea was to get the rust off, make it look better, uh, and uh, re-blue it. And I'm going to try rust bluing it again, so, or by again, I mean, uh, because I've already tried other pistols, I just want to practice it some more. So, as you can see, there's still some, some pitting left, but uh, I'm not going to take it any farther than this, basically, because I want to <coughs> retain as much metal uh, on the frame as possible and on the cylinder. So, so that's the update. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'm just trying to make the camera focus. I don't know if it will. Yeah. See that one, I was really worried about these two lines of text. And uh, it seems like they're completely intact. So, alright. Hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, suggestions, or uh, criticism, please let me know uh, in the comments to this video. Okay, thank you.